Hello and welcome to a hands-on 3D modeling video using FreeCAD and its main basic 3D modeling workbench. In this video, you will see how to use the part sign and the sketcher tools to design the model as well as the fastness rock paint to add a X head screw along with other techniques featured in this video. Make sure you have a recent development version installed on your computer and that the fastness rock paint is available in your FreeCAD program. As you can see, I'm using the FreeCAD 1.1.0 dev version. This is a weekly builds version. So in the start page, I will choose to create an empty document by pressing the empty file option. I will be using the part sign workbench to design this simple 3D model and the fastness workbench to add this object here. So, okay, in my new document, I will add a part sign body object to the tree view by pressing this icon, create body. I will click on create sketch icon and select YZ plane. On the sketcher workbench, I will go to sketch geometries and select cycle tool. Create a cycle in the origin nexus and constrain it to 40 millimeters and create another cycle with the dimensions. And next, I will select the polling tool, click on the cycle and create a horizontal line. Next, a vertical line and horizontal line. Now skip the tool and click again in this cycle and create horizontal, vertical and now click on this cycle. Next I will go to sketch a drums again and now I will expand the arc tools and select create arc by three points. Now I click on this point and next in this point here and then I create this arc. Next I will select the constraint tangent and make this arc here tangent to this line and next to this cycle tangent to this arc here and now this one here with this cycle next I will select the trim tool this tool here and trim this arc next to this arc here and this skip the tool select this arc and delete and now I have 9 degrees of freedom as you can see here now I will select the equal constraint and make this line here and this line equal this line and this line here equal okay next I will select the constraint symmetric and make this point and this point similar to this horizontal axis this one here and click on this line here and set the length for 15 millimeters and now from this line here to this line here, I will create a vertical distance of 15 millimeters. And I have this. As you can see, I have a small problem here. The symmetrical constraint is not working. So, okay, how can I fix this? The way to fix this is to select these two points here and place a vertical constraint. Now I have 4 degrees of freedom. Next, what I'm going to do is to select the dimension tool again. Click on this line and set the length of 20 millimeters. Okay, and uh, next I will select this point and the uh, first call axis and set the uh, distance of 90 millimeters. And I have this. What is missing now? I have two degrees of freedom. I will select this arc here and set 100 millimeters. Okay, one degree of freedom. Now, next I will skip this tool. Okay, what is missing here is a tangent constraint between this line here and this arc. To do that, I will select this tool and now the two lines and I have this. Now I close this sketch and next I will press home on my keyboard and click on the pad tool icon to extrude the sketch and now change the and now check this merge to plane option and set the length to 45 millimeters and then okay. Here I have my first shape on the document and the next thing that I will do is to create this threaded hole here. To do that, I will use the hole tool, but before I use the hole tool, I need to create a sketch. That sketch, I will create in this face here. I will select this face, click on the create sketch icon, switch to the session view by pressing this icon. And now I will select the cycle tool and the sketch jump and create the cycle in the vertical axis. The diameter of this cycle is not important. Select the mission tool. Click on the center point of this cycle and click off. Set 6 to 8 millimeters for this distance. And I'll close this sketch and go to the whole tool. 
let's change to right view and also let's add transparency to the model select this face for example and v plus t on the keyboard the first thing that I will do is to change the profile I will click on here and select this profile I will change the whole type to modeled fluid, update fluid view I will zoom in here and change the size of this to um, 10 and refresh the document and now OK as you can see I have a fluid hole here Okay, next, what I'm going to do is to create a sketch in the Wazy plane. And that sketch will create geometries for this hole here and this one here. So I will go to my document and click on create sketch icon and select the Wazy plane here. Zoom in and switch to the session view by pressing this icon. First, here I will create a construction line which I will use as axis in the groove tool. I will change to construction jump and select the line tool and now I will create this line here, a vertical line, select the mission tool. From this line to this vertical axis, I will set 6 to 8 millimeters. This line here will have a length of 120 millimeters and now I select the constraint symmetric and make these two endpoints of this lens merge to the horizontal axis and now I will hide these all constraints by pressing this icon okay now I will change to normal geometries and select rectangle tool create this rectangle and go to this side here and create this rectangle next I will extract some jumps of this 3d model for that I will click on this icon and change to construction geometries I will extract this edge and this edge here now I will select the dimension tool and from this point to this line here I will set a distance of 15 millimeters and this line here I will set 7 millimeters this line here I will set 10 millimeters and now I will use the constraint horizontal to constrain this point and this point here. Okay, now I will lift the sketch, close button, and I will okay, I will select this sketch, go to the groove tool, this icon, and change the axis to construction line one and okay. Okay, here I have this as you can see. The next thing that I will do is to create a, this extrusion here. For that, I will select this face here. First, I can remove the transparency of this model, press V plus T. Now, with this face selected, I will create a new sketch on it. First of all, I will switch to the session view, change to normal geometry and select cycle tool, and create two cycles here. This first cycle will have a diameter of 20 millimeters, and this cycle here will have a diameter of 36 millimeters. And uh, next, I will use the dimension tool to constrain the distance between the origin axis to the center points of these cycles. I will say 6 to 8 millimeters, scale two times. And next, I will use the pad tool to extrude the sketch 20 millimeters up, and OK. What is missing now is to create this small hole here. To do that, I will use the hole tool. I will go to my document and select this face here and then click on the hole tool. And I will change to right view. Sorry. I will change to right view. It transpires to the model, V plus T, and change the diameter here to, let's say, 12 millimeters. Yes, I think it's okay. I will press OK here to finish this. And now I will remove the transparency V plus T. And next I will create a sketch in this face here. That sketch I will use to create a pocket here in this shape. I will select this face, click on the create sketch icon. So let's use this tool here, create external projection geometry. Change here to construction geometry and let's select this edge and this edge here. Change to normal geometries and select the arc by three points. Create this arc, click on this extracted edge, and now click here, and we have this. Next, select the rectangle tool, create this rectangle. Escape this tool, select this bottom line here, delete. Now, select these two points and make them constant. 
this point and this point here constant so let's select constraint tangent let's make this arc tangent to this extracted arc skip the tool select these two points in this way and let's place a vertical constraint this one here and next let's use the dimension tool to full constraint this sketch okay this point here and this point here let's say 12 millimeters the radius of this arc here let's change to 300 millimeters and this line here let's say 20 millimeters the sketch is full constrained as you see here let's close it and select the pocket tool chain to forgot and here we have this press ok let's select this face and create a sketch zoom in here select the cycle tool create this cycle with a depth of 10 millimeters select the mission tool click on the center point of this cycle click off here and let's say 30 millimeters close the sketch and select the pocket tool if we return the model we can see that we don't have the pocket in this side here let's change to front view and let's change to front view select this face for example and a transparency v plus t as you can see this is the depth of this hole we can increase here to 50 millimeters for example and the hole will be created or we can change here to forgot and ok ok now let's repeat this hole around this cycle here to do that we need to go to the model tape and select the pocket feature go to polar pattern tool change to right view let's change here to 5 occurrence yes 5 occurrence and we can see that we have a small problem here we can fix this by changing the angle here 180 degrees like this and reverse the duration and I will have the same result that we have in this document just press ok to finish this and now let's create a pocket here let's first select this face here create a sketch on it zoom in here and select the slot geometry as you can see this pocket have a slot geometry zoom in here and let's create this select the mission tool this select these two lines here and set 10 millimeters and next what you do here select this point and this point here let's say 20 millimeters and now let's create an angle the mission select the horizontal axis and this line here and say uh, let's say 22 degrees and we have this select this point and now the horizontal axis let's say 17 millimeters this point here and the vertical axis let's say 20 millimeters let's say 22 millimeters and it's full constrained close the sketch now select pocket tool change to football and ok select this face here and remove the transparency of this model ok now let's create the chamfer and the fillet features in this 3D model ok let's start by selecting this edge control select this edge this edge and this edge here and select fillet tool let's say 10 millimeters for these fillets and now let's zoom in here select this edge rotate the model rotate the view and select this edge and click on the fillet tool let's say one millimeters i think it's okay press okay here and now let's select this edge this edge and this edge here and select the fillet tool one millimeters it's fine and also let's select this edge and this one here and now preview and we have this as you can see okay just press ok here to finish this let's select this edge and go to chamfer 2 press home and let's change here to 0 0.5 millimeters i think it's okay and now let's select this edge here and now hold control key and now select this face this one this face here zoom in this face and this face here 
and now we can preview as you can see we have this okay let's rotate the view to the side here and so click and select button and I'll select this edge preview and we have this we can press ok to finish the operation to finish this tool and this is the final model now let's see how to add this object here in the document I will go to the Oracle Installator, click on it and select Fairsense Workbench. The Fairsense Workbench is not a built-in Workbench of FreeCAD, it is an external Workbench of FreeCAD. If you don't have it in your FreeCAD program, you can install it by going to Tools and go to Add-on Manager, this first option. Click on it and then look for the Fairsense Workbench and install it in your FreeCAD program. The way to add this object in the first central paint is very very easy. I just need to look for its icon. I think is this one here. Yes, it is this one here with this reference. If I scroll down here, as you can see now I have a new object here. If I double click, as you can see, I can move the object using the transform tool. I don't want that, so I will cancel this and a transparency in this model here, V plus T. As you can see, I have the small object here in the center, in the region axis. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to fix this object in this edge here, in this circular edge. To do that, I need first to select the first one here in the tree view. Hold the control key and now rotate this view a little bit and select this circular edge and now use the move fastener tool. Click on its icon and now I have this. Okay, now we'll change to right view and go to the properties of this object, select it on the tree view. I will change the diameter to this reference M10 and scroll down here, close the start page. Okay, now I will make the fruit visible. For that, I need to check this option. And as you can see, I have this. Now I will increase the size, the length of this object. For that, I will go to the length parameter and click in here and select, for example, this value here. And refresh the document. As you can see, I have this V plus T. So this is how we can work with the part-time workbench and the fast-time workbench to make our design workflow very, very fast and easier. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. And if you want to support the channel content, you can do that by going to the Ko-Fi page, link available in the description of this video. And also you can support the channel by buying the books that is appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video, I hope to see you in the next video, thank you.